I was extremely intrigued by the idea of painting an egg. I hadn't considered much of what I was going to do on it, but once I had it in my hands, it was a globe. It was the world, and I've had so much um, inspiration to paint old world maps. Um, it just was the perfect blend. Uh, and it was a bit challenging to get my pigment that I love to paint with to stick to the surface of the egg. So um, that's been a challenge to figure out how to do that. I'm Maddie Bain, and I most commonly do circus-inspired paintings, inspired by old world circus, sepia tone photographs. Um, I traveled with the circus for 13 years. They say you get sawdust in your veins, so I can't, I can't shake it. Uh, the circus is very inspiring in many, many different ways. Uh, but I have also been doing ancient maps, recreating ancient maps. And that was where I took the egg, the ostrich egg, um, painting a world map on there. Um, I really didn't want to work with something else on the egg. I wanted to stick with what I knew and what I love, um, but still adapting it to this, this new material. And then when seeing the surface of the egg, I knew it was going to be hard, but I had no idea it was going to be so slick and impermeable. Um, you can just wipe the pigment off the surface of the egg. Um, I decided to use a Dremel to start carving the images in. Um, I have some real fine tips uh, for the lettering that I will eventually do for the, um, the world map of the oceans and some sea creatures and maybe some boats. And I think it's a very profound thing to do to bring the community together to work on a common goal. You can see the results as they come together and see the different ideas that each and every artist came up with. Um, I think it can be really inspiring. I think it's really great what the David Wright House and Artlink are doing within the community to pull all the artists together with a common goal of creating you know, 360 eggs, I think it is. That's a pretty astonishing amount. <laughs>